third cup of whipping cream powder, half a cup of milk, and one teaspoon of powder or castored sugar. This whipping cream powder is from Baker's Pine, as you can see, and I bought it from Flipkart. In case you want to buy it, I have already mentioned the link below in the description box. So, for making the whipped cream, first I will mix the two dry ingredients. Now the sugar. Give it a nice mix. Slowly, I will pour the milk into the mixture. I am pouring half of it first, later we will add the other half. First, I will fold everything with a whisker. If you don't have a whisker like this, then you can use a regular fork or a spoon to fold it. With the help of an electric whisker, I will mix them nicely. One important thing that I forgot to tell you in the beginning of this video is that before starting making this, I have kept all the three ingredients in the freezer for around one hour. First, I will start mixing it at lowest speed and then slowly will increase its speed. I have to continue whisking it. After whisking it for 2-3 to three minutes now, the mixture has become sticky. So let me take little bit of it and show you. As you can see, it's sticking to my fingers. So now, I will add the other half of milk it again at a high speed. One more important information to share is that I have not used any flavoring essence here because this whipping cream already contains vanilla essence. But if you want to add any different flavor or any color to it then you can add it at this moment. Whisk it at a high speed until it's nice and fluffy. After whisking it for around 12 minutes now, it's almost ready. It's perfectly smooth and floppy, also not sticky anymore. Let me show you how layers are forming while I whisk it. Now, I will whisk it for 2-3 to three minutes more at the highest speed and slowly will turn the speed into the lowest mode then we will keep it in the freezer for around 45 to 50 minutes so now it's completely ready to be refrigerated Keeping it in the freezer for around 50 minutes, I took it out. Now, we'll whisk it again for 2 minutes. First, at 
at low speed, then at medium and finally at high speed. As we can see, while whisking, prominent layers of cream are forming. We can understand that the whipped cream is completely ready now. Now to show you exactly how it turned out, whether it's perfect or not, I have a piping bag here. glass here now folding the open ends of the piping bag feeling the whipped cream in it after filling it completely i'll tie the open ends with a rubber band so the cream doesn't come out i have taken a plate and i'll make few patterns on it to show you the consistency and texture of this whipped cream. I hope you can see how smoothly and beautifully these patterns are forming.